ex-NBA player Joe Smith, who played 16 seasons in the NBA, 12 different teams, one of the most traded players in NBA history. He played for the Chicago Bulls, Cavaliers, the Pistons, Philadelphia, the Warriors. I mean, pretty much every team almost. Now, his wife has an OnlyFans. However, oopsie, she forgot to tell her husband. However, they released statements since that video. They're saying that they have been living separately. However, he released a statement saying he will not be leaving his wife, Keisha Chavez, after this video. Now, I'm going to bring you the video, but I'm going to also bring you guys Cameron's video. And Cameron kind of come clean at her. She comes on his show with her cleavage just all out there. And in this video, y'all, listen to the key words. My body, my choice. Here we come again. And she's going to say, hey, you knew who I was before. What's the problem, homeboy? So, word on the streets is going to say, Chavez, who is a former adult actress. Now, let's bring you guys this video. Listen to her key words, everybody. And we're going to... Okay, look, so... I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just finding out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? I'm your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to me. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit, you're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution, not in my book. That's no solution. You knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before, before... Before, before, yeah, we, man, before, yeah, I and knew I that. thought that I would never have to go man, back to anything like this again, but unfortunately, no, no, no. that's not the case right that, now. After that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything, it hasn't. No, it had to, I had Obviously to do something. it hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It, it don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so. to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. She could have easily, something like that. Now listen, he said, I thought that would change when we got married. People, men and women are who they are. Stop it with that. You're going to change when we get married. I, I'm going to marry this person and you're going to change. No, it does not work like that. Listen, the camera on is going to come clean out because a uh, sweetheart, you come on the show with your cleavage out. You obviously trying to turn some heads. And hey, men are going to shoot their shot. And you you go out with your breast out. Hey, men are going to take it there. Listen to the camera. Nice. Are the, do the body rub babes travel? Yes, they do. Are you one of the body rub babes? Well, I have been, but now I kind of like, <laughs> kind of nervous be to do anything. But if I wanted you to be one of my body rub babes, like, uh, uh, would you be a body rub babe for me? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> nah, cause I oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Stop it. I, homeboy, my man Joe Smith, come on. Now, from what I read, he's worth $61 million. Well, at one point. We don't know what he's done with his money since then. But I don't mean to be a professional <laughs> or anything like that, but... I can't stop looking at your cleavage. It's, it's, you got, yo, your cleavage okay. is popping, babe. Nah, nah, you can leave it how it was, man. You can leave it exactly how it was, man. I, right now, I'm thinking about cleavage and the body rub, babes. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now don't cover us, cool. It's, not, it's, it's like, you know, um. <laughs> yeah, babe. <laughs> um, sorry, though. Get off track. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, but, um. <laughs> sorry, about that, kiss. <laughs> we'll talk after. That's exactly what it is. She didn't want to be with him. She didn't want to be with him. She didn't want to be that's exactly why she wanted somebody to come at her. She wanted that attention. That's why she wore that. That's why, you know, ladies, like, man, you know, there's a time and a place. It's a time to be reserved. It's a time to be sexy for your man. A Friday night going out, dressing up sexy for your man. Y'all going out date night, whether it's a Friday night, Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going out to a nice fancy restaurant. You dress sexy for them and y'all go out, come home. 
get to business. However, we don't know what the arrangement is in this marriage. When you get 40 plus and then, so I don't know how long they've been married, married but if you, when you marry 20 years and you're 40 plus, Sometimes it is what it is. Nobody really care what you're doing. Both people may be doing whatever they want, but it's just a level of respect. And that's what dude was saying. Hey, when it's a decision like that, when you're doing and showing your body, at least let a brother know. He shouldn't have to find out. One of his family members, friends may have told him, hey, bro, do you know your wife got a whole OnlyFans page? Um has insisted that his fury over her secret OnlyFans account will not lead to divorce. She knew him, and she knew what she could get away with. And she's going to continue to push that to the limit. Ain't nothing he can do about it. She ain't shutting that down anyway, probably. However, despite revealing that uh, they are currently living, in sep living separately following the discovery, they, she believes they will work out that issue. And she already know him. She didn't, she didn't test it you already. You failed every test. And she going to do what she feel like doing. Because she knows she can get away with it. But, you know, we never know what their situation is. Maybe they cool like that. Maybe. But, and like, like, but here's the thing. I feel, to me, that it is, it depends on your situation. How you feel, how y'all got together, what you like. What that man likes, what that man does not like. What he look at is disrespect. What she look at is disrespect. All right? Ladies, you know you're going to be put... Like, if y'all go out together, y'all go... Uh, or you go out to the club, and you know if you wear your revealing dress that got your butt out or your breast out, you know men are going to still be approaching you. However, men look at it like, yo, you have a man. And that's how I feel. When I got a woman, I don't need to turn any more heads. I got my woman. I don't need to turn any other heads. As long as I can turn my girl heads, cool. I don't need nobody else's head to turn. And a lot of women feel like that too. Like, hey, I got my husband. That's the only head I need to turn. Y'all don't matter. I don't care what y'all need. I don't need no more heads to turn. I don't need no more attention. Don't need it. Don't want it. I'm cool with what I got at home. I don't need to turn your head. Why I'm married and I got a head to turn. And I turned it and I got his to turn. That's it. That's all. That's all I want. But she like, hey. You know. And we don't know what the money situation is. You know, with their situation. Now, I read he was worth 61 mil once upon a time. Um, so, I don't know where they fell off. It looked like a super nice big house. They were in. Looked it pretty comfortable to me. I don't know. So, I want to bring you guys the story. I felt it was blatant disrespect on her behalf for not telling him and recording that man without his permission. He like, what are you doing? You recording? Why are you doing that? Not only recording it, put it on social media. Embarrass that man in front of his family, friends, and the entire world. Anyway, go to YouTube, go to My Life in the Shot, My Life in the Shot for the video. Peace, y'all. The city on fire. Ooh, down to the wire. My life in the shot. Ooh, it's my life in the shot.